Ma'am, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also introduce the gentleman next to you. I come from in Zambique, Maputo. My Muna Sitole. Amen. Uh, can you please tell us the problem that made you to come here? My problem is I'm sick. I'm HIV positive. I'm kidney failure. Dialysis. How did they affect you? Tell us. Since 2014. And were you taking any medication? Yes. For I'm I'm dialys I'm dialysis in unit. I'm taking in medication for HIV. Yes. And when you were told that you were sick with HIV, how did it affect your confidence, you as a human being? How did it affect you? down. <laughs> Marani o bavastol wani nikamanda ni pagamani masuli. Sir, as we are hearing, uh, is your wife, ne? As you are hearing your wife saying that you are the one who gave her strength to to carry on with life. You personally, what were you facing in your life? Uh, I was the first one to do the test and when I found out she used to be, she was suffering with uh, diabetic and also high blood, low blood. So myself I decided to went for a test. It was in 2014 and I was told by the doctor that I'm HIV positive and yeah. I went home to tell her both of us we went for tests and after three weeks we were told to take medication for TB yeah. then we started also for TB but at clinic they found that she w wouldn't be able to take medication from clinic yeah. because she was suffering also from kidney so the medication from clinic it would affect her more so and they called my called me and since i was working at that time so i decided to put her under medical aid so even now she is taking medication from medical aid but now I am not working since the but I got my deliverance. Mm -hmm. I know the doors are opened. Mm -hmm. I will get my work because mm -hmm. God is doing the things on his way. So I believe in God. Amen. Amen. By the grace of God, as you are a man of faith, you have already uh, telling us your faith that you do believe in God, that you will get your job back, as I believe that you are healed. You were able to see the man of God on and one on one. How was the experience? What did he say to you regarding the problem that you're facing in your life? Uh, the man of God told us that... Uh, we are going to be healed. And myself, when I left home, I told even my wife that, no, today is our day because uh, when we were told by our pastor that we must come here, I told my wife that, no, this day was marked by God that, no, today is our day. So we are going for our healing. We are going for our deliverance. Amen. When the man of God prayed for you, how did you feel? I feel I feel the presence of God. Even when he was entering, I felt that I was touched. Amen. I felt the change inside me. Amen. How did you feel when they prayed for you? I'm feel in. I'm feel Sam, ma'am, as I believe that the Almighty God has done it for you, as you are a man of faith, you came by faith believing that today God has ordained the day of today for your healing of you and your wife and the restoration of your job. What can you say to other people out there who are doubting to come for a week of grace? If you came and you've tapped into the grace, what can you say to them? 
Uh, what I would like to say to my brothers and sisters outside is that we must appreciate we, we must approach God. Yes. Whatever we are facing outside there, nothing is impossible with God. God is able to do everything. God is able to give whatever we need. There is no need to suffer outside there. We need to approach God because He is able. Amen. We give glory to Jesus for your love. We believe that as the Almighty God has allowed you to be here today, you are healed, you are free, and I believe that God has restored your job. You shall surely come back to tell us that God has done it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.